Dead Synchrony City is a point and click adventure game that takes everything that we loved about classic LucasArts titles and puts a dark and mature tone to the storytelling. The game is set in a world where people are becoming the dissolved, a disease that grants supernatural powers before it leads you to a gruesome death. This horrific illness looks to have come from the Great Wave, a chain of natural disasters that brought about the collapse of communications and energy sources. Playing as Michael, a man with no past, you must recover your identity and decode the events of the Great Wave. Dead Synchrony City is coming to the Switch on the 21st of November, and with its unique storytelling that fuses horror, sci-fi and edgy your seat narrative together, it looks to be an adventure worth checking out. Urnrog Unlimited is a classic 2D platformer that's about as wacky as its title suggests. Taking the role of Urnrog, players must play through a whimsical world looking to steal all the animals. Why you ask? Well, for no other reason than hoarding them in your save room. Platforming through these levels will see you overcome puzzles, tough bosses and just generally have a good time. Which is even easier as the gameplay is fueled by a sweet algorithmic synth soundtrack that continuously adapts to your gameplay. Urnrog Unlimited is hitting Nintendo Switch on the 21st of November and can be played on PS4 and Xbox One now. An incident? Uh, a crash, sir. He was hearing voices and a giant spaghetti hub was sticking out of his brain. Stick It to the Man originally released back in 2013 and was instantly loved for its stylish art style. Now this eccentric adventure is coming to the Nintendo Switch. The game follows the story of Ray, who after having an accident, wakes up to realise that he now has a pretty sick spaghetti pink arm. Not only does his arm look cool, but it also gives him the ability to change the world by folding it, tearing it and moving it. Oh. And he also has the ability to read people's minds. That's a pretty important one. Unfortunately, Ray has been framed by the man for a crime that he did not commit. With time running out, you'll need to help Ray utilize his new abilities and prove his innocence. Stick It to the Man is hitting Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November and can be played now on PS4 and Xbox One. And solve mind-boggling puzzles. I'm Brendan. Uh, excuse me, um, uh, are you guys crazy too, or, or do you like work here? Transcripted is a twin stick shooter with a unique twist. The gameplay features match three of a kind puzzles. Players take control of the Nano Probe, a microscopic ship designed to combat disease. Playing through the infected levels, you'll need to upgrade the Nano Probe's equipment, health, shields, and weapons to overcome the growing pathogen. With its slick combat, RPG like skill tree to kit out, and combination of two favourite gaming genres, Transcripted is worth checking out when it releases on the Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November. Letter Quest Remastered is the ultimate version of the classic turn-based RPG spelling game. Playing as the Grim Reaper and Rose, players must embark on an adventure where they'll need to defeat monsters, ghosts and evil bunnies all through the power of words. The remastered version also features the Endless Mode, allowing you to pick a hero and see how long you can survive. Letter Quest Remastered is coming to the Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November and can be played on PS4 now.
Kid Trip may look like a charming 2D platformer, which it is, but don't be fooled by its welcoming exterior. Kid Trip is a tough as nails when it comes to its gameplay. You play as Kid Trip, who has crashed into a mysterious island, which hasn't gone down well with the wildlife, and now they are out to get you. You'll need lightning fast reflexes and intuitive thinking if you wish to help Kid Trip escape. Kid Trip is coming to a Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November. Crimson Land originally released back in 2003 and received a tune-up in 2014 and now the iconic top-down shooter is making its debut on a Nintendo console. This all-out action shooter pits you against zombies, mutants, giant spiders and well just about anything that can move. Blasting your way through the hordes of enemies rewards you with some sweet perks and XP which can be used to make your character even more badass. With a 6 chapter quest mode on offer, various survival modes, a ton of kick-ass weapons and 4 player co-op, Crimson Land is definitely worth its £10 price tag when it hits the Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November. the ancient protectors of the realm pleaded battle, but we could not keep this world together. The Fracture broke our lands apart. Portal Knights is a 3D cooperative sandbox RPG set in a mystical fantasy land. You can choose to play as either a warrior, mage or ranger and have the ability to customise, kit out and level up your character however you choose. Exploring the many procedurally generated islands that Portal Knight offers will see you come across beasts to slay and resources to mine and gather. Much like other titles of the genre, Portal Knight also features crafting and building but you'll need to search far and wide to get those best recipes. Portal Knights is hitting Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of November and can be played on PS4 and Xbox One now. To defeat the mighty Portal God and become the ultimate Portal Knight. When we reviewed Mantis Burn Racing last year, we said it was an example of top-down racing done at its best. And now with the definitive edition coming to the Switch, that experience is only going to get better. The game fuses an arcade aesthetic with simulation-like physics and brings a surprisingly realistic feel to the top-down genre. Although Mantis Burn is best played with friends, especially the battle cars, the game features a pretty robust single player campaign with an RPG inspired leveling up system. The amount of racing content the definitive edition offers for £20 is just crazy and you can check out Mantis Burn for yourself now on PS4 or on the Nintendo Switch when it releases on the 23rd of November. That wraps up another week of indie game releases on your consoles. You may have noticed, but this week there are only games releasing on the Nintendo Switch. It's still great to see the Nintendo Switch getting so much love for the indies or nindies. And to keep up to date with other indie games coming to your consoles and the latest news, previews and reviews, make sure you subscribe and head on over to indie-credible.com. <laughs>